Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is a Clan Wars battle between MI6 and EMP. Exercises make perfect on the highway map at tier 6, tier 8. MI6 have been focusing on tier 8s the last few weeks and we've been doing okay. We've been doing quite well. We've got a little bit of land and in other news, I'm coming to Perth. If you're in Perth, check out the thread I started on the World of Tanks forum. If you want to catch up with a few beers, a few laughs and a general good time, I'll be in Perth from April 20th to April 24th. Now I'm driving my M46KR, the Ripper pattern, and without giving too much away, I don't really do very well at all. We're attacking in this Clan Wars battle, and I'm calling the battle, which is a little bit unusual. I'm taking from the southwest, and I don't believe EMP were the landowners in this game. It was a it was a, a landing tournament to try and gain land, so both teams had to try to win. There was no um, advantage of camping to draw it or anything like that. So it was a, a genuine fight, and the winner takes all. You can see we've gone in with five heavies, me and the medium, and artillery, and three lights. And at the start of the game, we're just setting up position, trying to work, trying to gain a little bit of vision control. Putting uh, John Triple Five Four at his T fifty four lightweight over at the over in this area gives us a hell of a lot of vision. If you've got the right tank with a good crew and maybe binoculars, you can see a hell of a lot of the map as well as as these heavies sitting here. You can keep an eye on all of this area. Anyway, I'm in my ripper pattern, just having a bit of a look around. There's plenty of time. The game's just started. And Verks up there. It doesn't look like they're pushing forward. Looks like they're taking their time as well. And now John's going for a little bit more of an active role scouting. John's one of the executive officers of MI6 and an awesome player. So we're just trying to work out where they are for now. The, the heavies sort of taking up a little bit of sniping position, try and get a few cheap shots into them before they start losing their own health in a, in a traditional heavy on heavy brawl. He's not really seeing much there John but he's going to get into a little bit more of an aggressive position shortly. Roger's going out to where John was just to make sure they're not going to push the city. And I'm just trying to sit there looking like I know what I'm doing. We've had some really good games at tier 8 on the clan walls map against some really good opposition. Unfortunately a few of the, t a few of the other clans didn't turn up for the games but um, the games that we played were always um, always exciting and always a good laugh. Berks and myself are going to move forward to try and get a little bit closer. It looks like they're camping it up. Which I thought was a little bit unusual because they are they were fighting for the land as well. They weren't the actual landholders. Unless I'm mistaken, that's the kind of thing that landholders often do is camp it up with heavies and and play for the draw. It's something we generally don't we try not to do. So myself, Ferks and John are moving up to try and spot for our heavies, but we're soon gonna realise that our heavies don't have shots where they are. You can see how far back the T thirty two is. Two, two T-32s. If they're that far back, even if they do have shots, they're going to be holed down. They're going to be really hard to penetrate. A little bit of chat going on. We're working out what we can do. Throwing a few ideas around on the go, which is not unusual at MI6. Now, plenty of them are lit up by Roger. And Roger... In his little lightweights, so thinking, gee, I'm going to get the hell out of here, but he's still on full health by the looks of him. And the heavies are moving in to support him and try and get rid of that IS-3 and the 5100, the auto loader. I don't have shots where I am, but at the moment, all we're trying to do is light up the enemy team, work out what kind of tanks they have, and whereabouts they are. We haven't seen any lights. It's very unusual for someone not to bring a light tank to a Clan Wars battle. 
but it looks like they're all just sitting on the ridge line and camping it, camping it up for now. So we're using this, these ridge lines, T32s, myself, and the two light tanks to try and light them. So the big M can bomb the hell out of him in his artillery. It's a good tactic. It's a good way to try and break a camp. Use artillery. Uh, which is easy to do in tier 8 and tier 10 but sometimes it's, it's very risky to do it in tier 6 because if they don't do a big camp then uh, you're, you're basically bringing a tank in that isn't really going to play we think about going on cap now this is if we do I can't remember if we do if we do I think this is one of our early mistakes but we'll flit up all of their heavies seven heavy tanks which you would you would imagine that's all of the ones that are camping but there's still a few tanks unaccounted for so someone come up with a bright idea it might have been me to sit on the cap try and pressure them to to poke out it's only three or four heavy tanks near the cap the rest are, in, the rest are engaging with our heavy uh, well. e9 we didn't even scratch them. And once they roll over it's too late to cap. They're, they're all too close. We were never going to cap it out at this stage, but um, we need to draw them out to see what they've got. We lose a tank early, and we work out most of their tanks are up here, so we've got to get these guys to finish off this IS-3 down here, and then move back and help, help this little group, as well as let the artillery the periscope is fixed, fire away and do some damage from a distance. I haven't got the tier 8 American artillery, but I'm told it's really good. I've only got the tier 8 Russian. Tier 8 Russian puts in a hell of a lot of damage, but it's not that accurate. It's got a pretty long reload. We'll finally get a shot in. And now we're winning 3-1. These guys down here did their job getting rid of those that IS-3 that was there, but now it's found an I a 1390 going after our artillery, which is exactly the right thing to do. I'm copying an absolute pounding here, so we're calling for the heavies to come back. These heavies here, as you can see on the minimap, are at full health, so we really... Even though these heavies here are pretty low health, the bulk of our heavies are down here, so we're in a bit of strife. It's just John and Noodles here now. Well, these guys are fighting against these, but it looks like, looks like these enemy tanks are doing better than our guys. Whereas these two T32, these two T32s, Noodles can put a few shots in them and hopefully finish them off. We lose our artillery with to the 1390 who went to our base. We've still, we've still actually killed more tanks than them, which is good. But all of those enemy tanks there, we're looking at Roger's point of view here and the General Who. A lot of their tanks have got plenty of hit points left. A bit of an exchange of fire. We get rid of one of their T-32s. Great right shot by RJ John, who's picked up his second kill. Noodles is on three, and General Who's on one. And John's we're looking at John's point of view now. John Triple Five Four. He's going back to try and find that 1390. We don't know if he's on full health or if or not, but we suspect he's going to cap. So we know the 1390 is sitting on the cap. So John's gone to look for him. Well, our three heavies and a light try and get rid of their last three heavies. But the last three heavies, they're on a reasonable amount of health. The T32 just gets taken down by Noodles for his fourth kill. But Noodles himself is on pretty low health. RJ John and Sikwadi are all both dishing out a heap of damage. But they're also copping a lot of fire as well. See the AMX 5100s on a one shot, so Roger does their perfect thing here, runs around, distracts him while RJ John kills him, but unfortunately, that's the last thing Roger's going to do. John 554 is down near the base. The reason he's not pushing onto the base is he's going to wait until the cap cannon's gone a little bit higher and then sneak up and get a shot in because he's, he's a one shot. If that 1390's got more than one shell in his clip, He'll be able to kill John, no worries at all. Unless he pulls off a lucky bounce. You can see on the mini map, John spotted the 1390. The gets reset. 
waiting for RJ to kill the last one. He picks up his fourth kill. Great game by RJ John. And now both of our heavies are going to push on to their cap. John 5-4 is getting chased now. You can see on the mini map he's getting chased by that 1390. But it looks like he's on full health. The circles on the mini map tell us how much health their tanks are on. And now we're on board with Sigwadi and RJ John as they go on to the cap. Now that Sigwadi got onto the cap before the 1390 could get back to ours. So the 1390 can't cap for the enemy team. And hopefully he can't get back before 39 seconds counts down. But it is a quick tank. And in that time, even if he has fired a couple of shots, the 1390, he can reload a full clip. So RJ and Sigwadi take up positions aiming in the direction they think he's going to come from. He's got to come from the sh shortest distance. Sigwadi takes a little bit of a a, pu a poke, which may or may not be the right thing to do, but we're winning 9-8. to eight. There's plenty of time left. Eight seconds to go before we cap him out. And there he is. He's on 559 health. Sigwadi gets a shot in, but dies. And RJ John, cool as a cucumber, pokes out, kills him and takes the win. An awesome close finish by the guys at MI6. RJ John, the coolest, calmest player in the world, and that was our most recent victory just from a few days ago versus EMP on highway, close finish. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the replay. Don't forget, I'm going to be in Perth on the 20th till the 24th of April if anyone wants to catch up for a few frothies. Now i better stop this recording before I lose my voice. Take care. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you all next time.